Oh, you know something? I don't know about how, how much fate you guys consume, but I, I consume a lot. I consume, well, not a lot. I, I, I used to consume more. But I consume a decent amount of fate content. And especially now that I've kind of started, you know, a few months, a few or two months ago, started making FGO content once again. And uh, I gotta say, it's starting to piss me off the fate content. Because now there's the new game that's coming out next month. Like at the end of next month. So we're still kind of far off from it. And there's already so many fucking spoilers on YouTube, it's pissing me off. Everywhere I look, it's like a goddamn new video. And it's like, here's the new servant that shows up. Uh huh, didn't you know the servant was here? It's here. Look at this new noble phantom animation. Look at these two servants fighting each other cinematic. And it's like, motherfuckers, can you two just stop? Someone posted like your first two hours of gameplay, people are farming it for cuts. Like I don't like 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 I, I don't blame them for farming it. You know, uh, at the end of the day It's uh you know it's uh it's the it's the Wild West. But my god does it pisses me off. Like I just want to, you know like imagine Imagine getting spoiled getting spoilers about Lost Belts uh, before the Lost Belt comes out, like a month before the, the Lost Belt comes out. Oh, here, here's Morgan dying! Like a month before uh, before the, uh, the the Lost Belt 6 come out. Here, here's the, 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 cinema, the, the scene where Morgan dies! And I was like, bitches, I didn't need to know this. I just unsubscribe to all of those. Even if you like, I'm not subs I'm not even subscribed to them, and I still get plastered by them because uh, I get, uh, you know, I I, I uh, the algorithm knows that I consume fate content, so it assumes that I want to see that. Like I uh, I avoid them, but when literally the like I don't click on them, but. It doesn't really do much if the 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 title and the 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 thumbnail itself already tells you everything. Like for example, I mean I don't want to say it, but there's a character that I didn't know was in the game. Like I saw him in the trailer, but I didn't recognize who it was. And then the video shows up with him there, and I and saying it saying his name on the title, and I'm like, oh. Wow, uh, I see. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I didn't know he was there. Would have been funny if I would have had a, a, an actual uh, first reaction to it. But regarding the spoilers, I think it's ridiculous. I think it, like, it's, fine, it's fine to spoil. You know, if it's like a few days, a few weeks after release, like for example, Baldur's Gate 3 has come out, I've played a little bit, I haven't even gone out of the first act yet, and I've already known know a lot of spoilers of Act 2 and 3, and that doesn't really mind me, because you know, it's like, I like the game, the YouTube algorithm knows I like the game, so they're, sp they're throwing stuff at me, and uh, it's fine, because, you know, people are just having fun, and they're posting what they're finding. And, you know, that's fine for me, but when it's like, the game is not even out, it's gonna take, like, a month for the game to come out, and you're already spoiling stuff, it's like, come on, man. That's a little bit too much. One, two, three, four, oh, wait, no, not four yet, four, five, uh,